Lend your ears, lend your hands, lend your movement, anything you can. Come to teach, come to be taught, come in the likeness, in the image of God, 'cause you can be like that with all that humbleness and all that respect. Is this a treat for everybody? No, it's not. It's not for the people who think that they're done learning. It's for the people who think that they can learn something from everybody. I would recommend a Rob Rise retreat to some people, um, but I think that it requires a high level of commitment to yourself and a, the ability to love yourself. What's funny is that these retreats, in a way, seem to keep getting better, and what that tells me is that we're getting better. Not only are we attracting new amazing people continuously because of the vibrations that we're putting out there but it's also they're reflecting something in me where I feel more at peace with myself and I keep enjoying them more and more I feel like these days I have trouble not getting along with people and like it seems like when I'm not getting along with someone well I simply just tell them why I'm not getting along with them or why I think I don't like them and at that point everything changes and then we can connect over like our disconnection, if that makes sense. And I think that's a real testimony to uh, what we're doing here at these retreats, is that um, life seems just to go a little more effortlessly and I can enjoy the company of pretty much anyone. And my happiness is no longer contextual, but it's like the attitude of my heart. I have not felt this at peace with myself in a very long time. And it's awesome. <laughs> I go back and forth every single day. The clarity comes to me in the choppy ways. The feelings and the places and the seasons change. The galaxies remain. Uh, to have 26 people that never knew each other uh, to come into a home um, and experience all the things that we did to really connect in such a short amount of time was very special for me. Obviously, I recommend your retreats because. I thought I had it all figured out after two, and obviously I still don't because I keep learning new things about me and new things about just humans in general. And you know, I'd go just to just to make more new friends. You can never have enough real friends. There's never been four days in my life where I've developed such deep connections with people, so many people, so quickly. Uh, the Raw Bros are awesome, and everybody who came out to this retreat is awesome. And you're awesome, so you should come too. I had one major intention, and that was to really involve myself in other people's problems. Because I found a lot of peace lately. Really engaging myself in other people's stories, hearing out what they're going through, what they're struggling with, and really getting outside of my own little bubble. Because when you do that, you become much more empathetic for others and, and realizing that your problems are not so bad and you're not so alone. I would recommend a Ron Bars retreat, um, especially if you're looking to connect with uh, outgoing, adventurous, honest, like-minded people, um, looking to experience a real sense of community and growth and kind of just put yourself in an environment that can facilitate that. And if you want to, you know, get out of your town, do some traveling, see the world, get in touch with nature, all those things are, uh, are definitely awaiting you at a Rob Ross retreat. Definitely my take home message was that you don't have to explain emotions. They don't have to make sense and you don't have to fully understand them at the time, but to just feel them. And I found that when you do that, the message eventually comes later on. These guys are onto something here that our culture needs. Uh, coming from the education world, I think this would be extremely beneficial and it's something I wish I would have done at a younger age. Relationships are gold and that's really like the, the most important thing that you can have in your life is an honest relationship where you feel supported. Um, and you can't have one of those unless you are being honest and I think that that's a skill that has to be honed and I think these retreats offer a really awesome place to do that, to learn how to be honest. Yes, I recommend a uh, Rob retreat. It's just amazing. <laughs> I would definitely recommend a Rob retreat. I would absolutely recommend a Rob retreat. Um, 
it's so amazing. The, the amount of experience and the amount of light that I feel, I wish I could share it with the rest of the world. Yes, I would hands down recommend a Rob Ross retreat. One of the best experiences of my life, for sure. And I think anyone watching this video, if you're watching it, go to a Rob Ross retreat. I did not get paid to say that. It's an amazing time. I would absolutely recommend Rob Ross retreat to anybody who's looking to make real, genuine, authentic connections with people that you've never met, people from all over the world, within a matter of four days. It's incredible. The experience I had is one that uh, no amount of money um, could capture. Uh, it's, it's just a great experience and something that I hope everyone gets a chance to do. Yes, I'd absolutely recommend the Rob Ross Retreat. Um, like I said, if you're, if you're watching this, you're probably interested and um, you're probably like me and so many others on the retreat and we all had so much in common, it's really astounding. So. Uh, one thing too is that nobody ever really says what happens on a Rob Bras retreat and so I wanted to tell you guys what really happens. So we get here and the first thing they have us do is Do you speak to me like you speak to God? All of the love and understanding between the Father and the Son Do you believe in the perfectness of where you are? These are my people, these are my children, this is the land that I would fight for My solidarity is telling me to patiently be moving the musical medicine around the planet in a hurry Cause there's no time to wait Gotta wake up the people, time to stand up and say We know what we are for And how we became so informed Bodies of info. 